Hi everyone, it's Miss Carrier again. Uh, today I wanted to show you what it looks like to be on the editor side of the senior ad option on Balfour, on StudioWorks uh, Balfour. So this is my end looking at studio.balfour.com and this is the ads manager. Um, you can find that by going into the manage tab and then ads manager. And you can see from there, I've had nine ads sold online. Uh, and from there, I've had a parent actually submit an ad. So I'm going to show you what that looks like and show you how you can edit and change those around. So if we go into the little pencil, we can go to edit and we can either approve the ad, reopen it uh, or edit. So I'm going to click edit. And from there, I am now going to click edit again. And if you're like me, you're really curious as to how this works. And I didn't realize that I could go in and edit all of these ads individually, although I'm probably going to end up using Photoshop for the tools available in StudioWorks. However, if this is something that you want to use, I'm just going to show you around a little bit. So this is what the um, ad pools look like uh, from the parent viewpoint. They have these options on the side. So let me uh, show you around a little bit. So these are the images. So you can add more photos by simply clicking to upload those from your computer. Um, you can also have the pictures autofill into the layout that you've chosen. You can see the students pictures here. Um, there are several backgrounds to choose from and the parent has chosen this green pattern here and you can see all of the different ones available there. You can also edit the background. Um, then you're going to have clip arts. It does make me a little nervous, but <laughs> they are available. So if there's something in particular, like a quote box or something that's needed, they would be able to find that there and put that on their ad. There are layouts to choose from. Now, this is probably the best feature for the parents because they don't have to decide where to put the pictures. They can simply choose a layout that is available there uh, for them to put in. And then they also have masks if they wanted a picture to appear through a heart um, or through something like that, like this burst here, um, that would be an option. And there's also frames. So if they wanted to put some kind of digital frame around the pictures or message, then they would have that option. So those are all the tools available on the left. Um, if you come over onto the right, you can manually add text to your project. So you could add a text box. From there, if you click on it, you have several editing tools, several formatting tools there. You could even move it um, forwards or backwards with layers. So that's really nice. Or you can delete that. Um, same with photos. You can add photos onto your project, drag them in, or click on it and edit it as you need to. You can add frames from there. You can add photo effects from there. So lots of different things that you can do inside these editing tools. All right. And then, of course, you can um, change the layout if you need. You can shuffle the pictures around in the layout. You can add rectangle shapes or you can add ellipse shapes. And you can see down here that they are working currently on a one page, half page ad. And so that's how it works. Um, it looks pretty easy. I have not tried it yet, but if you were like me, you just wanted to get a little glimpse into what was going on behind the scenes from the parents who chose to edit their ads online. Uh, I'm going to try to work with this though and probably uh, create these senior ads on Photoshop. However, um, this is a great tool if you don't have that or if you need to get these done quickly or that's just something you want the parents to take care of and have control over, then you can. All right, guys, I hope you're hanging in there. Uh, this is just a little look at Balfour's at editing, ad editing tools. Have a great day.